He's now 2 and 0 with 2 KO. Joe Drew. We draft the tree. Follow the instructions on the right side of the screen to tree. On the heavy bag. Throw punches, use head movement, and footwork to complete the combinations. Gotcha. I don't believe in building a record fight in open. Left trigger. You don't learn anything against guys like that except how to make mistakes. Rook, okay, right hook. We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateur. I don't really play with the... You got a chance to do something great. To be someone great. And I'm gonna help you get there. Is it? You wanna take... I'm on with the buttons, man. I don't play with guys. the... And I want you to show me that you got what it takes. Yeah, okay, that's right. Because if you can stop these guys, I'm gonna be impressed. Okay. If you can't at least put them on the canvas, I'm gonna be disappointed. Got a kid? I wanna see these guys on the floor. Nice work. Um, oh, next time. I'm with the the buttons, time has I'm come. Cool the All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Gus. Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. A much anticipated okay. bout between Andre main Bishop I'm a main and event. Mike Walker. The time has right come. Here. All Protect the talk is done. Time. Now the fight is up. set to begin. From the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, Louisiana, we welcome you to our middleweight main event. Andre Bishop and Mike Walker set to square off. For the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, we just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. Good block there by Andre Bishop. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Walker's got to deal with a cut sheet. Oh, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Mike Walker. Power puncher versus the high stamina fighter. How does the high stamina fighter want this fight to unfold as it goes on? Well, the high stamina fighter, what he wants to do is he wants to get a lead. Let's go. Get the lead, go out there quick out of the gate, and then later on you have the power puncher looking for one shot at a time. He's going to be searching him all night, and he's never going to find him. Walker's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Yeah, but... Oh, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Protecting his head well with his guard. Oh, you. We're going to block that upstairs. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Right. Let's give a very honest assessment All right. of Andre you Bishop got a little bit in his career right out. now. Facing a guy like he is tonight, Mike Walker, he should annihilate him. Yeah, he should, but it's not just about that. It's how he does it. He should go through him, but you want to see him go through him in an effective, efficient way where he looks like a future champion. Resourceful one-two combo by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. 
That didn't hit me. Super two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then go. Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Walker's mouth is bleeding badly. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Walker's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Zones in on that overhand right. Good flush shot upstairs. Nelly ties up there. Walker's absorbing a hook. And there's the left hand. Big, big shot he it's just gone. scored with. He is floored by that combination. Absolutely floored. Yeah. One, two, three. Open cut. One, two, three. Walker's gonna have to pull himself together here. Now he beat the count, but still a lot of work to do. Yeah, a lot of work because he doesn't have the benefit of his legs. Can't move around there wobbly right now. So what he's gotta do is grab on a little bit and walk. Walk to the rope, kill some time, make the referee come in between you and break you. And round number three is underway. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Bishop's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he Mike Walker's rock, there it is! And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? Walker's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you can't... What a down, big bro. shot. How is he going to survive this? Once again, he hits the deck. He's going to have to find a way. Push up. Let's go. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as a manager. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. The young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. And he's a across the ring. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Rosario's very conscious of the fact that this is a golden opportunity in front of him. He knows he's a clear-cut underdog. He also knows what a win will do. A win will get him a step closer to what he's dreamed about since he was a little kid first putting those gloves on. The big paydays. Come on, I like that. Maybe the nice house. 
Andre Bishop's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three-punch combination score. Yep, you're going to keep getting messed up. Well, a lot of people were looking forward to this fight, and with very good reason. When you pit these two guys together, it should be a very good fight. You don't have to look for either one of them. They are right there to be found, and our fans love that. And he ties up on the oh, inside. Yeah. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Rosario's... Oh, and there you go. go. Unable to survive that shot. He's on the floor. He hammered with the jab. One, two, three, four, five. Rosario's back up on his feet. What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Well placed, well timed combo up top. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Rosario. That's a good left hand by Andre Bishop. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubts to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxers are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Andre Bishop's trainer, Gus Carisi, was quite open this week in saying, hey, I want to see excitement out of my fighter. I want him to deliver something to the fans. Yeah, he's thinking the same way my mentor, Customato, used to think. That's why he invented the pick -boo style. You know, it was effective. You kept your hands up, your elbows in. But it was also exciting. It would elicit excitement from the crowd. And that's what he wanted, to make sure that he created somebody that wanted people to come see him. Scores with the combo to the head. Oh, and there he lands the right Ooh. hand well. Oh, that's got to hurt. Let's Perfectly go. executed combination. Nice one. Oh. Rosario's down. He's going to have to beat the count. One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Rosario's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand. Big, big He's shot comes crashing home. Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> You don't have a say Yo, in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes is entitled to his own opinion, isn't he?
One of the best-looking middleweight prospects in some time now takes a challenge in Atlantic City. Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Andre Bishop now 3-0, taking on the heavy-handed Keyshawn Hayes. Philadelphia, Andre Bishop. Here's that person. Keyshawn Hayes. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. All right, let's listen to the coach. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Come up, come up. Well, let's talk about what kind of a fight this could end up being, because as far as we see it, both guys are really committed to the cause here. They want each other. Hey, look, the old times would say these guys are harder to miss than they are to hit. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land on. combinations. He landed a good one Whoa, there. The is is right hand down. over the top, very accurate with it. Nope. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. He's sure that he can do it. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to bases with the one, two, boom, boom. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Jab right hand. Able to lock in that target and bring it home. Well, wow. look at that. Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. That was a right hand, that wasn't a left hand. Bishop's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Good one, too, by Andre Bishop. His cheek is cut. You can oh. see it's opening up now. Boy, that could okay. be a factor later right. on. It will be a factor. He is swinging for the yeah. fences, trying to get his man after being hurt himself. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Andre Bishop, unbeaten in his Let's emerging go. career, but now a bit of a challenge. In that first round, Keyshawn Hayes able to land that left hook. Well, we know he looks like a fighter. We've seen that already. We've seen that throughout his amateur career. Now we're about to find out if he can behave like a fighter. Andre Bishop's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, how much can really happen in those 60 seconds? How much of a benefit is it to a damaged fighter? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, physically, you have to revigorate the guy. You know, maybe massage the legs a little bit. Most importantly, get some ice on the back of his neck. You know, get that blood flow going a little bit. Make sure that you revive him a little bit. Get him back to feeling like he's ready to go out there. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right yeah, hand after really getting well, tagged well, like well. that. Oh, he's in bad shape here. He's stunned and he's wobbly. The only thing he has going for him is He's not a fighter that uses his legs anyway, and you can't use him right now. He's a guy that likes to move his head. He's got to start doing that. Try to cement those feet down the best he can and get some head movement. Accurate shot. Straight right hand comes in. Wow, a big punch just crashes yep, home. Oh! Around. We've been watching this roller coaster ride of the career of Andre Bishop for so long. Now another dip. Can he rise up and continue on? What will happen now with Andre Bishop as he rises up to fight on after being floored? Bishop's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. 
And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. A leveling uppercut by Hayes. Andre Bishop's defense now dazzling as Hayes is having trouble landing that left hook. What a sharp, piercing hook by Hayes. And the round comes to an end. You are winning this fight. You keep doing what you're doing, and you got this in the bag. Just keep doing exactly what you're doing. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Start of the round, but Teddy it could be the end of the fight. He's been knocked down numerous times, including the last round. You're probably right, Joe, but when things are darkest is when you find out what is special inside somebody, where they can go to a place you never expected to be able to go to. Look at Archie Moore, Yvonne Durrell, years ago. Archie Moore was over 40 years old, in there with a 20-something-year-old Durrell. He was on the floor three times in the first round. He found a way to come back and knock him out in 11th. This is another one of those nights. Oh, a big shot comes Let's up go. for him. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. He clinches when he gets oh, to the man. inside. Let's fight. Let's fight. Little head knocking with that right hand. Scores up top with a left. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Look at the mess in the ring right now. Hayes is cut. He's just painting himself. Yeah, it's a good thing. At least we think that judges are not influenced by the way a fighter looks. And yet another big shot comes in. And he Let's crashes go. to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hayes is able to get up. Oh. Teddy, I question, though, if, wow. And that's it. What a way to end the night with a knockout. You saw it coming. Yo, Problem is, go. he didn't see it. To cap it all, we send it up to the ring. This fight was going his way. It was absolutely going his way. Hayes is leaving the ring, however, as a TKO loss. Well, he got a little careless. I mean, he started taking things for granted. We always hear you talk about don't take things for granted in life. Well, never take things for granted. Never assume anything in that squared circle. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take you know place what? in Alvarez's Let's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Bro, this guy really wants in. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. Oh, we 
got to be Alvarez. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. From Joe Tessator and Teddy Atlas welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom sure. here in Chicago, oh, Illinois for a much-anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop right, fellas. is a hot let's rising have a good clean prospect. Fight. Will him up Bishop and let's go. shine in the spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now that prepared him for this moment. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. What does the jab offer him here? Victory. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it sure is. Punches and punches, combination up top. Yeah, is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed, where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy's going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So he is damaged Ooh, badly nice there. One. He may hit the floor. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Look at that combination by Andre Bishop. What guts by Andre Bishop to survive that and now to move on. Targeting the left hand to the body. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Good combination to the head. Good job staying away from the danger there. Oh, nice job by Andre Bishop there landing that jab. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Come. Kick. The judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. The queen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Gotcha, coach. Gotcha, coach. All right. They all been by knockout. Andre Bishop's bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he punches, really took man. some punishment. By the judges. That's it. Get after your hands off. Goes up top again. Bishop's left now getting into the mix. I really like what he's doing here. I mean, if you were to pick any one piece of weaponry that you say aligns with what he is strategically as a fighter, it is the jab, and he's firing it off beautifully. And he's firing it off consistently all night at the right distance. He's getting full extension on that punch. And that's making him effective offensively and safe defensively. He's out of the other fighter's range. He's bleeding. The old 1-2 scores for him. And now he scores well with a straight right. Let's go. And now he's targeting upstairs. Takes one. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He got rocked. He just got rocked. And he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit. Stop this flow. And banging away 
he goes. Damn, oh, he goes no, down in the me. later stages of this round. He's going to try so to survive good. it. No, no, come on, I can't, I can't. Well, in a time of need, you turn to your tough. closest allies. Andre Bishop coming off of that round where he was knocked down, and he's back with Gus Carissi. And if there's a time you need to hear the truth, well, there's a time a fighter needs to hear the truth, and he knows he will get that nice. from his trainer. He's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Lance flush with a two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. Keep that head moving. It's still not moving enough. Move! Move! Good step back counter punch there. All out action throughout this round. Let's see how the, he is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Teddy, I think he's gonna go down. I think he's gonna go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Hard charging with that right hand. Bishop's putting his punches together Whoa, now. That's a on. nice combination. Watch the hook. He has his turn. Oh, what a left hand. Am I supposed to lose this fight? Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job Are of just being serious? patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little callous, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Bishop's got speed and plenty of it. Teddy, still, I'd like to see him just bite down and fight a little bit. Yeah, you'd like to see him sit down a little bit, bend his legs a little bit, and make those punches a little more effective. Not just great where they look good. Good job landing three punches by Andre Bishop. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. There's that southpaw jab in the left hand. Scored well with that straight left. Very nice. Oh, he is absolutely affected by that right hand. Never saw it. Solid. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox. The sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. Oh. 11 and 0. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. I thought they were McQueen's thugs, but they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. 
Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Everybody up! Cell block D, get up! Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. Let's go. Train up. I fought. Boy. Heavyweight now. Damn, he buff as hell now. Those crackers been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one on one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. You fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. Bare knuckles, boy. Let's go get it on. This guy, this guy's name. Remember now, that professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. No way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Pop was gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, 
You'd be smart to stay away from a queen, man. I always wanted you I to- I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. He's gonna How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no. I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre.